Rinnex snack. Well, that is too short to be serious. Now today, I was planning on doing three, three Qdoba uh, reviews, but two of the items, they're harder to order. Like I didn't want to bother the employees if they didn't know. So I'm just going to order them on the app another time or on online another time and do a review. They're nothing special. They're just using either the new adobo chicken or the new ingredients that come with this quesadilla specifically. Um, so definitely intriguing. And uh, let's see if I can end that phone call. I had a phone call from a spam caller again. I'm tired of y'all. Y'all just, y'all know when I'm using my phone. I think y'all know. Y'all trying to interrupt me. I ain't got time for that crap. I really don't. Anyways, so this is the new cheese crusted quesadilla. Now, I think they put quite a bit much cheese on this thing. Um, and apparently their uh, quesadilla machine's broken. So I'm not quite sure how they did this, what they did. But there it is. I know it looks nowhere close to right. But, you know, wouldn't you rather have a cheesier thing in life than, you know, I know... It would be nice to have a crispy edge, crispy, cheesy edge, but you know, can't complain as long as it tastes good. It's all the same stuff. So we'll definitely see how it goes. Uh, but it has adobo chicken in it. It has chili con crema. It's got, you know, the, the cheese, the queso, um, the shredded queso. And then, um, I guess peppers, tomato, Good, good fillings, good fillings. Uh, th there's a description in there somewhere, in the in the bio somewhere with um, everything that's in this. But, oh man, this is hot. How am I gonna eat this? I don't know. We got through the easy part, I guess, but the the hard part is trying to eat this uh, with how hot that it is. Um, but hot is good. Hot is fresh. So, oh, this is gonna burn me, folks. Or at least it's fresh, but man. I mean, it's good, but it's all stuck to one. Of each piece is stuck, so it's not quite right. But it tastes good. Mmm. It's still quite toasty, despite the fact that the cheese isn't particularly toasty on the outside. I've never found Qdoba to be a place that really inspires me or a place that's really all that great. But what I have to give them credit for is this is a better, um, better quesadilla than Chipotle. No doubt in my mind that's better than Chipotle. It's cheesier, it's more flavorful, it's more filled. Of course, the edge, the outside edges with the cheese, it's crispy. It's hot, you know, Chipotle when I roll up there. And I, like, I, I don't, ooh. I don't give them much time between when I order and when it's done. When I go up there, you know, I get it. I'm usually waiting for them to bring it to, you know, the pickup area. This is hot and fresh, folks. This is hot and fresh. Mm. I'm burning myself, but it's delicious. I'd say the cheese is a little tangier than I prefer, like a little sharper. Mmm. But that is good. And then I got a little bit of crispy cheese right there. I don't think you can get much better than that. I don't even think if we got it the way it was supposed to be made, I don't think it would be quite as good. So props to Qdoba. It's a nice savory uh, flavored quesadilla. You got a really nice cheese here. Mmm. And then the protein, the adobo chicken. It's not spicy, at least from what I'm tasting. 
but it is a very enjoyable item so i'm gonna give it eight and a half just because they don't have elite ingredients by any means and yesterday i had taco bell and even though taco bell doesn't have elite ingredients the way they put the ingredients together just always seems to slap and i'm constantly giving them a 10 out of 10. so those nacho fries those hot ranch nacho fries which is top tier this is really good though it's delicious it's hot it's fresh it's better than chipotle so eight and a half out of ten if you want a, a, a fast casual quesadilla then go to Qdoba don't miss out on this even though they take forever to get through their new items so you'll probably have a while to get this but if you have a Qdoba it's worth a try anyways that's my review I'm sticking to it and I will see y'all around